Hey guys, it is me again. Uh, it's good to uh, to uh, be here tonight. I know I seem like I'm a little off my game. That's because I was expecting my pop up to come up and it didn't come up. Today is uh, what Tuesday, January the third. Yeah, I believe makes it day three. Uh, Our daily bread 2012. Guys, I gotta make this quick. Uh, just to be honest about it, I'm even lucky I'm even here. Uh, tonight, I've been having trouble with my webcam again, trying to get it to come up, and you know, whatever's going on with this computer, I fit with it all night. And to be honest, guys, I was getting ready to shut the computer down and just go to bed because it's 2.04 in the morning. And I said, I'll just, you know, I just won't have to, I'll just won't put a video in tonight. And I'll just, you know, maybe try to find time tomorrow to put a video in for today. And then, you know, tomorrow night do another one. Uh, and I was getting her to cut the computer off. And I said, well, I'll, I'll hit it one more time and say, you know, you never know it may come up. So I hit it that one more time and, and, and here it came up. So, uh, but because it is so late and everything, guys, I am going to have to just cut the, the jibber jabber completely out. And get to the important part tonight. So, uh, I know some of you guys really, really wait on this. And, uh, you know, some of you really count on seeing it every day. Uh, so, that's why I really wanted to get it in if I could. So, I just thank the Lord that this is cooperating now. Uh, but, I, but I do got to make it quick. So, as usual, I thank you all for being here. Uh, hope everybody's doing all right. Hope everybody's having, uh, I know it's cold everywhere. Um uh, Darren down in Florida and, and uh, uh, John down in Florida and I know everybody down through there is probably I mean they're shaking in their shoes because it's a lot colder down there right now than it, than it normally gets uh, so uh, you know it, it's like that everywhere you know it, there was just a I guess an arctic blast came down out of Canada and, and just pretty much got the, at least the whole midsection of the country anyway you know midsection and the east coast uh, it was like I, like I told you guys yesterday, it was uh, 60 degrees here Sunday, or almost 60. And then from Sunday to Monday, it dropped 35 or close to 40 degrees. Today, it never got over 26, something like that for a high. Outside right now, it's probably like 18 degrees, 17 or 18, something like that. So, it's uh, supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, it's supposed to be like mid-30s. And then by Thursday, it's supposed to be mid 40s. And then I think by the weekend, they're saying it could be up in the 50s again. So, uh, and then I think it's supposed to next week, it's supposed to kind of do this again. You know, attempt to raise up a little bit, then then dip a little bit again. So, uh, but anyway, guys, uh, like I said, thanks for being here. Uh, gonna have to cut the jibber jabber short. So uh, I did want to tell Darren one thing, oh brother, when you, uh, I know you're working on those t-shirts right now. Whenever you do get your t-shirts done, just let me know in a comment or whatever, or a message. Um, I do want one of them, so I'll, uh, you know, just let me know when you get them done. and uh, Let me know how much they are, and I'll, uh, I'll get you some money on the way. So, uh, just want to let you know that. So, uh, let's get started here, guys. Romans chapter 3. The important part, as I always like to say, the important thing, most important thing uh, to us. And that's, of course, the Word of God. Romans chapter 3, guys, starting in verse 16. Here we go. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Now, Paul's talking about people that are, you know, people that are just, just people that act like they're saved and they're not. You know, they're just, they're, or, or, or unsaved people as well. I mean, they are unsaved, but you know what I'm getting at here, guys. He's giving a little bit of uh, clues here. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Verse 17, in the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Another problem which we see today in the in the, in the, the whole world, but even in the church, there's no fear of God before their eyes. Verse 19, now we know that what, we, what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall be no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without law is manifested, 
being witnessed by the law and of the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You know, this is a famous verse that most of us know, and this is the truth. We've all sinned and, and fallen short of God's glory. You know, we can't please God by what we do because we can't be good enough to please God. That's why that's why he had to save us through another through another man, or we, we couldn't keep the law good enough anymore to please God. Because you know, we've all sinned. Verse twenty four, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. God has said. God's other way of saving us, sin and sin and uh, his, his son, a part of himself, Jesus Christ, to come to this earth and save us through redemption through him. So that believing in him, believing through his His sacrifice, that we could be saved. Because our sacrifice is not good enough. Even though we're still going to sacrifice, like I always say, we're going to try to please God. We should try to be, be pleasing God. But it's not good enough to save us. Verse 25, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past excuse me guys through the forbearance of God again this is just saying God had to set forth a propitiation or a replacement that's what Jesus was he was a replacement through faith in his blood he was a replacement sacrifice because our sacrifice whether it be animal sacrifice or sacrifice even even uh of our own lives we're not good enough anymore so he had to send another sacrifice a propitiation that's what that means Jesus was our propitiation verse 26 to declare I say at this time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus so that's what he that's just you know he's finishing up here well he's not finishing I'm finishing but he's saying here you know to declare I say at this time his righteousness that he might be just and a justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. We are justified through Jesus' righteousness, is basically what he's saying here, not our own righteousness. Anyway, guys, it's where I'm going to stop. To be honest, this video was already longer than I wanted it to be, to get uploaded. But again, I thank you guys for being here. I love you guys. If you need anything, let me know. Uh, good old willing, guys. I'll be back here tomorrow night. And uh, until I see you all again, good night and God bless.